Tonight, a first in the John Benet Ramsey homicide case. Her parents, John and Patsy, square off against former Boulder police detective Steve Thomas. He believes that Patsy killed her daughter on Christmas night, 1996. It's exclusive. It's next on Larry King Live. They have been guests before on this program, never together. They are together tonight. They are Steve Thomas, the former Boulder police detective, author of John Benet, Inside the Ramsey Murder Investigation, and John and Patsy Ramsey, the parents of the late John Benet Ramsey. Their daughter, as we said, killed Christmas night, 1996, and they're the authors of The Death of Innocence. Both of these books have been on the bestseller list, and this case has taken over this country and other parts of the world as well since its inception. Since last with us, the Ramseys took a lie detector test, not under FBI order. And your lawyer said that you, you didn't want the FBI to do it. Why? We didn't necessarily not want the FBI to do it. We wanted someone who is fair and independent. Do you think the FBI would have been partial, Patsy? I mean, do you think the FBI cares? I'm not saying that. I'm not accusing that at all. Just that was, you know, not the definition of independent. Do you think we they come with a... With a degree of opinion? I don't know, but we eliminated that possibility by insisting they be independent. We went to the best polygrapher in the country, had the results quality controlled by the person who invented the polygraph system. And he was going to release those results no matter what, right? Absolutely. That was a given understanding that it would be made public no matter that what was he found. the condition we agreed to. Steve, did that appeal to you? Well, it certainly didn't satisfy the uh, Boulder Police Department. They uh, are putting little stock in this polygraph, and quite frankly, uh, it took uh, Patsy, if I'm not mistaken, and I don't think I am, uh, uh, three tries to pass a polygraph. We had an inconclusive test, a second test that uh, showed distortion, uh, and finally, uh, a third test uh, with another examiner. Uh, uh, she passed truthfully. Was that examiner respected? Uh, certainly nobody's testing or uh, challenging the uh, credentials of the examiner, but again, it's not uh, uh, the government authorities who want to conduct that polygraph. Let's go back a bit. The, you have not been together since when? When was the last a time? April 30, 1997. When you were still on the case? Right. Did you question them at that I time? Did. I did. You, remember, you both remember that? Absolutely. Okay. And you were taken off the case? I resigned from the Boulder Police Department in the summer of 1998. Because of this case? Absolutely. And you resigned because? Because I felt that Patsy is involved uh, um, in this death, in this tragedy, uh, and I felt uh, it had become such a debacle and was going nowhere. Uh, um, out of frustration, I left the case in police work. John, why did you agree to come on with Steve what tonight? I mean, this is rather historic. I don't, I'm trying to remember if this, there's ever been television man, like this. as a police officer, has caused irreparable harm to my family. He has called my wife a murderer. He has called me uh, uh, a uh, complicity to murder. He has called me a liar. Uh, he has slandered my relationship with my daughter, Patsy's relationship with John Bonet. He did that in a public forum, which is irreprehensible. Uh, and it needed to be addressed in a public forum. Because most people say you could have sued, you could have done and this, well, and you, you might can still count sue. That that's coming down the road. You are going to sue. You, yes, but you, you can decided, count it. Patsy, did you did you wholeheartedly agree to come, or did did any of you dispute coming here tonight? No, not a bit. You felt you wanted to confront this. Absolutely, it's time. Is it difficult for you to sit in Steve's presence? It's not pleasant. Uh, this man has uh, has harmed us deeply. He's uh, uh, failed in his responsibilities as a police officer. He's failed us. He's failed John Bonet. He's failed the computer, uh, community of Boulder. Uh, it's not pleasant, no. Steve, well, how do you Let's respond? talk about failure. Let's talk about parents who I feel have failed their daughter, who, after this became a homicide, uh, of course they cooperated when it was a kidnapping, but after it became a homicide, uh, Patsy, you waited four months before you came in and talked to the Boulder Police Department and answered questions. No, Steve, I did not. Well, tell me when. Uh, I was there every day. Uh, tell me how many hours. Were you in our home that day? How many hours? Were you in our home the day Let's read some uh, how many hours press releases. Well, hold on, I, I, Steve. Right and talk over each other. 
You say they didn't appear. You say you did appear with the Boulder Police? Yes, I did. That, and how would he not the, know about it? At the Boulder Police Department. I don't remember you there. Oh, you, you weren't there. The, they weren't, you weren't there the day they came. What day did you, you come to the Boulder Listen, Police Department? Let's, let's deal with facts. December 27, 1997, Commander Eller released a press release. The family has been cooperative and our investigation is continuing. December 29, 1996, the family continues. You meant 96, to, I right? meant 96, sorry. The family continues to cooperate with the police investigation, although the police have not yet conducted interviews with the father and mother. They have been in no condition to be interviewed up to this point. We spent days with the police. We gave them everything they asked for. What days was that, John? Well, let's talk about it. It was the 26th. It Be was the before, 27th. Before it was there was the a homicide. We gave, we gave he's saying blood and, and let me respond, Larry. Right. When he says they came in on the 28th, they came in to give what's called non-testimonial evidence. They knew through their lawyers, I'm sure, that... Uh, well, uh, and let me finish, well, John. Well, may may well, I finish, yes, please? They had no alternative. They had to come in on the 28th. On the 27th, two detectives went to their house to schedule an interview. They didn't speak with Patsy. They asked uh, when they could uh, arrange to come in. What, let's cut to the chase here. You waited until let's, April 30th let's of really 1997, Let's really cut to the Mr. chase, Ramsey. Steve let, Thomas. Let me what, cut to the chase. Let's cut to the chase. What is your theory? Tell us your theory directly well, to well, our I think face. it's fair to say this. Hi, you certainly approached this impartially, one would assume. You didn't know the Ramses, Absolutely right? You didn't know not. John Bonet, you didn't know anyone connected to this. When did you come to the conclusion you came to, and that conclusion is what? Well, despite what the Ramses assert, that it was the 26th, uh, uh, they now know I came into the case, was called in the case two days later. Uh, it was probably uh, spring of 97 or later when evidence continued to come back uh, indicating Patsy's uh, involvement in the authorship of the ransom note one but let's cut to the chase John let's make a very important distinction here a dead child your child was found in your basement for which you could not offer a satisfactory explanation and if I can finish oh, please, yeah, please, please. Yeah, let him finish his theory you could not I'd offer like to hear the theory yeah you could not offer a satisfactory explanation you resisted coming to the police department and asking questions or being subjected to questions by the detectives work in this case uh, I didn't have a dead child found in my Does basement that and make resisted me the police. A no, not at all. Do we want to get into evidence? I want let, you to get let into evidence. Let's talk. Let me, let's hear, talk evidence. Let let me get a, hear let's hear theory. the theory. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me get a break and let's, since we don't have anybody arrested in this, we don't have a trial, we're sort of taking you into evidence here. This is, I feel like it's law and order. Your evidence will be presented to the Ramseys. They can respond and we'll do it right after this. <laughs> We're back, Steve, theory. Well, theory, I, I hope we get a chance to talk about their convoluted sex crime, pedophile, kidnapper turned murderer theory, but I think no, it's, I think it's very, I think theory. it's very no. simple. And, and, and we'll get their theory. I want your theory. What's yeah. your theory? My theory is quite simple. Whoever authored the ransom note killed the child, absent some great conspiracy uh, that they think uh, uh, this intruder came into the house. Oh, would uh, you agree that whoever authored the ransom note probably killed the child? I would agree. I 100%. would agree with that. Okay, now. Your contention is she wrote the note. I do. What do you base that on? I do. I base that on question document examiners. Uh, when the time, by the time I left the Boulder Police Department, uh, June of 1998, uh, Patsy, out of 73 suspects whose handwriting had been looked at, you were the only one who showed evidence to suggest Steve, authorship. And let, why let then Patsy didn't they go right in and arrest? Why didn't ahead. they? Once you probable broke? Cause, they, these people know better than anybody. Probable cause was not the issue in this case. Uh, Patsy, you could have been arrested in this case. I wish you, you I could, had been, and you, then we would have had a free and fair trial, and you would have met your waterway, Mr. Thomas. Are you saying that let, uh, you, you would have let her, an, let her answer the question, John? Why won't you let your wife answer the question? Because you have assaulted her. You've called her a murderer. You have checked 73 suspects and said because Patsy's handwriting was the only one that couldn't be eliminated, therefore she is a murderer. That is absurd. Patsy, you would have why to did check you change your handwriting billion people. My why would question problem. document experts and people who looked at the ransom note suggest that you changed handwriting habits after the homicide? We have not heard that. That is not, not what our it. experts I, I, have said. Can Patsy answer the question, Mr. Ramsey? You if you're going to continue to assault her, I well, will no, continue he, to ask, yeah. answer well, the questions. Well, she came on the show tonight. I'm assuming she's capable of answering she's questions here. She's very capable of answering your questions. I still haven't heard the theory yet. I totally well, agree you, that whoever... Whoever wrote this ransom note killed our daughter. Yes, I concur wholeheartedly. Now, he believes you now wrote the note. Now, let's hear, what I want to hear is 
how is it exactly that you think that I killed my daughter? What's the I just cannot understand that. I want to hear it from start to finish. Patsy, tell me. I, exactly I wasn't there. What you were at home that night, and apparently you say you tell you can't me what happened, you can't say Mr. for certainty. Thomas. You were in the house, right? Yes. Am I, am I assuming? Was. Answer my question, please. Certainly well, he I'll wasn't there, so he can't know for he sure. Has a theory. He has He's to have a theory. All right. Murder. Yeah, and, you, what is and your you've theory? heard the theory. I've, I have not I've heard the theory. Offered yeah, a please, hypothesis. Please one. answer my question. I'm trying to. Wait a minute. John. Right. Your theory is. My theory is that Patsy, uh, in a violent confrontation with her daughter, uh, accidentally killed her. No, not ac a accidental. I hypothesize, uh, in the sense that it lacked motive. Not unlike. No motive. A, a accidental but, in that sense. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, John. Uh, did you okay. did you have okay. something else? Mm -hmm. I've got lots of those, but yeah. go ahead. Uh, at that point, uh, instead of making a right turn, she made a left turn and covered this up. It's not unlike uh, 11,000 other children that have been murdered in this country or killed feloniously by parents in the last 20 years. I don't see this as uh, that remarkable a case other than uh, what it became. Right. If it's this uh, pat, as you say, and it's uh, the way you make it, it's kind of pat, why has no action been taken against because this couple? Because his theory is contradicted irrefutably by the forensic evidence. Is that right, John? Now, why don't you tell us right, now, this convoluted it? sex crime would you, pedophile kidnapper? Would you allow kidnapper? me to answer the question, mm -hmm. please, Steve? What's the opposite? John, but we have had some of the world's best forensic experts look at the evidence. They have told us that John Bonet was strangled to death. The last act that this creature did to our daughter was a vicious blow to the head. That is irrefutable. That that's, that's not consistent with the... Uh, that is not consistent with your theory, and that's my point. Right, but uh, you're suggesting, uh, if I am hearing you correctly, uh, and let me ask you, why will you not take the FBI polygraph? Don't change, Don't change the subject. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll get back okay. to okay. it. Okay, deal, deal with the topic at hand. We're dealing let's, with big let's, issues let's here. Hear you have accused let's us. Let's hear your theory. You have accused us of murder. Let's hear your theory, Mr. Ramsey. I'm waiting. Let's hear I am waiting we, for you to finish. Right. What? Tell me exactly, step by step, how you envisioned that I, I wasn't there, Patsy. I, you were in the home You that must night. have conjured something in your head for you to come out and call me a murderer of my child. Patsy, I think now, you I wrote the, hear I think one you wrote the ransom. Ten. I think you heard When did wrote I write the ransom this note? ransom you, note? Before or after I killed You tell me if you wrote the ransom no, note. No, you're the one theorizing here. You tell you, me. You were in the house that night. Steve, and, you have and John, you can't say for well, certain. Actually, it's it's circumstantial. Yeah. And John, you can't say for certain who did or did not kill John Bonet because you have said you were asleep. You cannot say for certain because you weren't there. I, <laughs> I want to hear your theory, Steve. You ha let, let me ask you this: Are you prepared to state that Patsy killed John Bonet? That I covered it up? and that you can prove that in a court of law. Are I'm, you prepared I've, to say I've that I've written tonight? a book, and I stand by my book. So your you, book said that. My book stands on its own. I haven't heard this pedophile, kidnapper, murderer theory. So you, you didn't consider theory. all options. So certainly, you will say certainly that we, in a court of law Certainly we considered options in this case. What do you, as a de when you're a detective, this fascinates me, do you guess as to motive when you're looking into a crime, like why was this child killed for what purpose? Certainly. Okay. And in this case, you came to the conclusion that it was sort of in a rage? Yeah, I don't think that there was any well, premeditation what, let, let to, to this child being killed. You, you're what, still not answering my what question, What in Mr. our background Ramsey? did you find, and our background has been investigated for three and a half years, what in our background did you find that would show that we were capable of this horrible you, crime. You play right into it. I don't show that there's a motive in this case. I don't suggest that. I didn't ask my question. What did you find in our background that would demonstrate that we were capable of this kind well, of I, horrible I crime? Well, I gave you a pass, John, unless you want to say otherwise. Uh, I don't think you were involved. I'm asking we. about said we. you accused Patsy of murder, me of complicity. What in my past what in have Patsy's you past seen that you has ever indicated that I would be capable of doing something like this? Well, there's 11,000 parents that you state <laughs> I'll Did ask you a question a right back. Uh, you 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 okay, please certainly uh, uh, you suggest uh, this great conspiracy answer involved. Well, let, let me, let me, get, a, right, let me question. get a break. Let me get a break and then we'll we'll have to have more direct questions he and never answers. Answers the question. All right, we'll be right back with Steve Thomas and the Ramses. Don't go away. Is the key to this what you're saying, the note? 
That's the whole key. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, I've heard Patsy Ramsey say on national television that even their own experts cannot eliminate her as the author of the note. And a follow-up question to that is she says there's people who rate higher on that scale who are potential suspects. And I'd ask you, who? Who are these people? None of your business, Steve, because you're no longer a police detective. Let me, you, let me ask you I'm a citizen, and I'm asking you why let, you're not going me, to the Boulder Police ask, Department. Answer. Your contention is it is based on your belief she wrote the note. Pr primar no, primarily. So two plus two equals two. Primarily, yes, sir. Answer my question. What in Patsy's background did you find that would cause you to believe that she could commit this horrible act? Well, I'll pose this and answer the okay, question, no, right, well, please. Well, let him try. Go ahead. I can't get three words out. Oh, okay. Answer the question. Don't let, answer let the question. Let me pose this. Why then, absent this great conspiracy that you suggest, please. would these pediatric experts come please in? Answer the question, Steve. Well, wait a minute. All right, let's. Uh, can I fair is fair. Can right? I ask a question? Yeah, and yeah, I know, but well, you could. Someone could not have a background and still do something violent. One very, day. very unlikely. You mean a if this person commits violence, they have committed it before? Is that, is in a, that according in a to your theory? In a probably abuse situation, in virtually all of the cases. There, there is a history been. of abuse that's known by the parents, by the, by the authorities, by the social services and agencies. Was a thorough investigation and done of the Ramseys and their children? Yeah, absolutely. And? And why would pediatric medical experts that the Boulder Police Department brought into this case swear out via affidavit that John Bonet had been subjected to prior That's vaginal a lie. trauma. You're lying, Steve. Wait a minute. That is are, a lie. Are you, you're saying they didn't say that. Our pediatrician who saw John Bonet a dozen times each year for the past three years before this happened has sworn and testified in public that he saw no evidence yeah. of and sexual abuse. What was the abuse. evidence your pediatrician saw? Well, not my pediatrician. Well, pediatric the experts that said, were brought into this case. Who are they? A Blue Steve? Ribbon Medical Panel. Can I ask said, who they are? Uh, said said that this little girl, prior to the night she died, had been subjected to previous vaginal trauma. Could I ask that who they are? Because this lie. is in the same category as his so-called linguistics expert, who he brought in and testified no, but that Patsy... We could ask you, what's his motive? What do, what do you think? Why... why I you, think his you motive... You think he's out to get you? I think at this point he's a profiteer. He's the only person from inside the system who has written a book, who has gone on national television, uh, it's disgraceful, absolutely disgraceful. But he did quit his job over this, so obviously he... You, it's because he was headed down the wrong path. He was at the point of no return. Uh, and his I, ego I so. is the I size of a barn, so. and he can't put it aside <laughs> I, I don't to think try so, to find Patsy. his murder Every, everybody's, his everybody's wrong but Lou Smith. That's right, that's that, what it says in your book. Everybody, everybody everybody's, but Steve Everybody's wrong but Lou Smith. The FBI, federal law enforcement, the FBI polygraphy unit, State law enforcement, the governor of Colorado, the police detectives, the, the did they DA's show, office. Did all of those people show all of their evidence to the grand jurors? Let's remember the Why grand jury did not exonerate come? you either. It's not the jury's grand, the grand jury's task to exonerate. Their task is to I think indict. the grand jury may have issued a report. Had, had that, they, you were the target Steve, of this grand jury. No question. You that know is, it. I know uh, that. Probable cause wasn't an issue. And Patsy tonight, I think I've heard her say she wished she was arrested in this case. Well, because they feel it would be an end. Had We've you been had tried in public by innuendo and slander days, from years. people like you. Yeah, we, yes, God knows yeah, we would I have loved to have had a fair trial. I don't apologize for the book. I left a career, Larry, as you said. Uh, I wrote the book for the same reason that you did, that to no, put information out you uh, publicly. You wrote that book to line your pockets with money no, based that, on that's our not tragedy. True. As a matter of fact, I think you wrote a book as well. And, and took and took money for that. I, it's going to charity. And, Tell me what you and do I with think the money you've also said. I think you've answer. also said it's going to which, a legal defense fund. Which, no, it's, which, on the other which, side, you said that one of the reasons this case is unsolved is him. Absolutely. Why? Because he failed miserably in his the task he was given. He was inexperienced. He didn't accept help from people. You think he had the opportunity to, to solve it at that point? I think experienced homicide investigators could have solved this case by now. The, you know, the FBI's all, the FBI's Thomas's fault. You know, he, it is not all this young man's fault. He did not have good leadership in his department to lead him down a path of experience. You know, you can't fault the man for that. Truly. Can you understand, Patsy, why, understand why you were that. suspect? Can I can understand, understand because house? there was no one leading this man with any leadership capability.
to investigate the homicide of a young child. I understand that. I know the first time that, that I interviewed with Detective, then Detective Thomas, I saw the passion in the man's eyes. He wants to find the killer of this child. It's just that he's going down the wrong path. Now, Your what I than you. do, well, you know, I feel sorry for the man, truly. We know we're not guilty. He is convinced that we are. Now, I am sorry Somebody's for that. Somebody's wrong. He has, his career <laughs> has suffered. The young, he's a young man. This was, he was at, you know, a, a very young in his career. He has lost his job. His, you know, he doesn't even have a family yet, I don't believe. Perhaps you're married. God willing, if you ever have a child one day, you will know the pain, perhaps, when someone hands you the child in your arms and says, Mr. Thomas, this is your child. Do you tell me that you're going to look at that child and <laughs> you just had a new baby, Larry. Could you ever conceive well, I can't of imagine doing how could harm a child, something so to this belief. child, let alone I'm the sure things that this to you man too, right? is I mean, beyond that anyone could harm a child. Of course. Right. That's you know, it happens every I day, want to unfortunately. See the day. Let me get a break and come back. He has a child. We'll be back with more. We'll also include your phone calls. Don't go away. All right, the Ramseys, your theory of the crime is, just so we have it right, committed by a male intruder. A psychopath and a pedophile, killer is either an ex-con or knows criminals, entered the home while you were out to dinner, and original intent was to kidnap, and then killed after that. Now, is that, have I got that right? Generally right. Most importantly, though, is the sequence of events which uh, are supported by forensics experts. John Bonet was strangled with a professionally made garrote. The last act this creature did to my beautiful child is strike her in the head with a vicious blow. She was either dead or near dead when that blow was administered. Now I know detectives like to put together things, so Steve, help me. Put together what you think happened that night. Well I certainly don't think this, and I still haven't heard this convoluted sex crime kidnap uh, gone, ar gone awry. Is, 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 is that it? Is it, it? is it that simple? That, uh, that simple. Uh, that this person came in the house, uh, uh, had to find Patsy's uh, pad, answer, answer had to Larry's find a okay. pen. Yeah, I, no, I'm, right. I'm responding to we'll your get last statement. We'll, we'll, no, we'll get into okay. each one. Give me yours, and then we'll and examine each one of the things. Well, as I've, said, what as I've said, I think it takes a very simple explanation okay. that's consistent with the evidence. Uh, who wrote the ransom note? Patsy, right, so who Patty, can't be what do you eliminated? Think before that? What do you think happened? There, as you're putting together a crime, let's say that Police try to put together a scenario in the O.J. Simpson case, and their scenario was he came upon this scene, he reacted out of rage, he ran. Said they had a scenario. Well, What's certainly, the scenario? And in a domestic homicide, uh, some evidence that might otherwise be incriminating that could be explained away. I think there are some lacking pieces of the puzzle here that... Uh, uh, that they hid? No, that prevented uh, beyond a reasonable doubt in the minds of prosecutors from taking this uh, case what forward. Think but happened? I think there was a toileting issue that night that has been dismissed and underplay okay, a, a, a bedwetting or a toileting issue that uh, caused Patsy to get mad at her daughter. Absolutely. And say slap her or hit her or I don't know. I'm suggesting punish. that there was an explosive encounter because Patsy at one point uh, put the child in clothes, a red turtleneck for example, not the same uh, clothing she was found in deceased uh, the following day. I think something happened in that bathroom. Right. What would lead then to garroting and hitting on the head? What would lead I to that? I don't know. What can you imagine would what lead you, to garroting or, or hitting on the head? What can you imagine? I can't imagine. I want you to look at me and tell me what you think happened. That's how looking right in the eye. I think you're good for this. I think that's what the evidence suggests. Steve uh, Thomas, you are so... So in other words, she killed her daughter in a rage over the bedwetting and then garroted her. Yeah, th this is interesting hearing this theory uh, because, again, it's not consistent with uh, forensic experts that worked with the police department, that law enforcement reason. in this case. Right. I disagree. Totally disagree. John Bonet, in fact, the, the, the autopsy report says this John Bonet died of strangulation. That Where is am I supposed to have learned how theory. to make this garrote? Uh, John calls it a very uh, skilled instrument of some sort. It was, you admit now, do you not, that it was your paintbrush that was used? Do you admit that? 
I don't know. Steve, uh, well, no, I care. Let, let her answer the question, if John. If the perpetrator was in our home, he your, had your paintbrush. access. He, he, he had forgot, access. Wasn't the, kidna it, the kidnapper it, who forgot his ransom note? Steve, the kidnapper who forgot his pen and all his tools of the instruments? That. You know what? This isn't, we're not going to solve this tonight and I refuse to to have a Jerry Springer type exchange no, with not. this man. It's not. You know, this has subverted justice in this country like nothing in the history of the Constitution of this country. We have had now two detectives from the Boulder Police Department. First, Detective Arndt comes on and emphatically, as emphatic as Mr. Thomas is this evening, says that John Ramsey was the murderer. She could see it in his eyes the day that we found Jean Bonnet. Now, Mr. Thomas, as emphatic, but with yet another idea of how this happened, says that Patsy is the murderer. Well, would you agree, Patsy, that almost none of it makes sense? Right. It None was an it. evil. What was the guy doing? Why did the, why did the intruder do this? Man. Evil, evil I don't know, person. But when we find out, and God we will willing, know we'll when know. We find this creature. But this person stalks the streets. I don't mean to be yes, too absolutely maudlin here, but yes, there's someone out there. Well, somebody better get worried about it because there are children in this country that are just as vulnerable to as John Bonnet. I got to get a break. To your, I want to ask when we come back to your knowledge are the Boulder Police still working on other suspects? We'll be right back. Don't go away. We're back. Our guests are John and Patsy Ramsey. Their daughter, Jean Benet, was killed three and a half years ago, and they're the authors of The Death of Innocence. Steve Thomas is the former Boulder police detective originally assigned to this case. He's author of John Benet, Inside the Ramsey Murder Investigation. Now, back to uh, no qualms here. You're not out to get them, right? Absolutely okay. not. And you don't think he started out to get you, right? He believes his theory. Uh, you know, well, I think he, he believes it, as flawed right. as it is. Let me, let me ask this question. Well, how about the if, convoluted if, sex crimes theory? I still haven't heard that, John. I had to explain my theory. Let's the, hear this, this pedophile kidnapper. What Steve Thomas's theory is based on You're not gonna answer is no, that won't. our child wet her bed and we slaughtered her. That, was that is so preposterous. You weren't there, John. You can't know. I was there. I know Patsy. You, you I've lived there. with her for 20 years. I know that she loved that child more than anything in the world. I would have given my life for John Bonet. Patsy would have given her life for John Bonet. And I'm sorry we weren't able Are to. Are you that saying night. that if it were Patsy, you would never have covered up? Absolutely not. Not, not so in a New York minute. So you never doubted no. your wife no. ever no. not for a second there is sufficient evidence to a trained eye that an intruder came into our home the forensic as evidence supports and he came with the idea of what i don't know I don't for sure know. well the kidnapping we, we, we speculate uh the world's one of the world's leading uh uh profilers john douglas has said that this killer was angry with me or was very jealous of me, and this was a an anger or jealousy that was acted out against Instead me. Instead of taking it out against you, he kills your child. Mm -hmm. Sadly, yes. You don't buy that. Well, certainly the colleagues, John Douglas's former colleagues in the FBI, are not of that uh, opinion. It's interesting that the defense paid uh, experts and investigators and so forth that are working on the case have one opinion, whereas law enforcement and those in Colorado. Uh, working this case have another. Well, so, so Steve, Are they you're looking at other suspects? Yeah, they. It, it's and interesting. The it's Ramseys at this point, of course, the Boulder Police will look at any legitimate suspect that's brought to them. But at this point, until the Ramseys satisfy the Boulder Police Department that they are not involved in this case. Uh, well, you're they, asking them to prove their innocence. Well, they cast the cloud and the initial doubt that hindered their presumption of innocence. Why, Why not coming in? Why do we have well, it's to prove it's our innocence? That is you don't, fundamentally you don't, John. contradictory it may be fundamentally to the Constitution. Wrong but, it, wrong, but at this point, given the evidence and what where evidence? the authority... What evidence, Steve? How long do tell we have, me John? One, we, we, it took us two days. Tell me one tangible piece of evidence that's presentable in a court of law well, that says that one of us can kill our daughter. As I said to you, you though, how about daughter? the idea that if, if I were accused of killing my child and didn't do it, I'd be down there at a police office, I'd sleep in the police this office, the I'd police. ask him any questions, I'd do lie detective tests. This is who we had to work with. 
How much We're time did fools. you spend at the Boulder Police We're Department? Don't since, get since back this to that. Murder. We still haven't heard the how scenarios. Well, Steve. when you I hurt yourself, though, you, you did look, how you many hurt hours? yourself when you hired a lawyer. You we hired didn't look at it. Look, look, let's explain how that happened. We were crushed. We were devastated. We had lost our child. Our youngest child was murdered in our home. Friends surrounded us. They did things for us. They made decisions for us. That included bringing in lawyers and acting in what they thought was our best interest. We did not make decisions okay. in those In retrospect, days. was that a mistake? No, not when I saw Linda Arndt go on national television, who was one of the detectives, and say, I saw it in John Ramsey's eyes on December 26. He was the killer. And now we have uh, her counterpart and colleagues saying that Patsy's the killer. You, you, this they was can't an early blame decision. the cops when they're not there helping. You know, on one hand, they're screaming they for the murder to be solved. 24 hours a day. No, Patsy, you haven't answered this question. How, with us, to this day, as we, sit here, uh, as we sit here tonight, how much time... In the last four years, have you spent in the Boulder Police Department with the detectives working this case? I don't know, but I'll tell you it's, that it's much. Zero. I have you never were there. invited You've never them. Never under the oh, Boulder Police oh, Department. Let her answer the okay. question. All right. That's, he has the fair question. How many overtures have been made to them, including one on the table right now, for us to come and talk with them and bring our detectives and our investigators and share information and work together, put pride and prejudice aside, Mr. You're making Thomas, that offer to them now. And work to find the killer of this You're, child. Are you making a commitment to go into the Boulder Police Department next week or next month and sit down uh, for an unlimited amount of time is a to two cooperate? Way All right, street. but why well, he's got okay. a fair offer. Why not two go to he's not there. Why here, not go to the police department? Here is what we've laid on the table. We have told Chief Beckner that we need them to help find this killer. They have absolute authority over this case and that's not going to change. We've had investigators, seasoned investigators, collectively with over 500 homicides under their belt who have been working on this case day in and day out. They have questions. They have information. Why don't you all get together? We would, would love, love to. to. So why don't we you go, down, go, as go as down there next week? Why not go there next we'll week? Be, if, you? if we can go there tomorrow with our investigators, sit down with their detectives, get all questions answered, we'll be there tomorrow. Why would they not do this? Absolutely. Okay, I, I'm so glad to hear it's this. It's on the table. You would go to Boulder tomorrow with your private investigators, meet with all their detectives, and sit down for as long as it takes sit to get the through this. Sit around the table and let's get all the questions. So They've Boulder, got questions. We've got questions. Boulder should say to this tomorrow morning, come aboard. Well, well it depends because I Why? hear I hear a hidden caveat here. That, that, that it What's the caveat? What? That, uh, this is if, the if, you, if you're yeah. offering, I'm not there anymore, John. Okay, I'm, I'm a citizen who's say, concerned that you won't to, go into the police department and answer to, police they're questions. They're offering to come with all their investigators, answer any questions, present their side of things. It's June 1st tomorrow. When are you going to be at the police department? Steve, you're, you're not. not it's charge. not up to you. You're not in charge. You're no, but they may be off. If the, 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 the Boulder police called you and said, come down next Monday, you'd come. With our investigators. They would come. Their detectives around the table, you bet. Okay. We'll be right back with more. Don't go away. Now back on the FBI thing for a moment. One would assume that the FBI, all they want to do is gather evidence. They don't care if you did it or didn't do all it. They're we, an investigative all agency. All we asked for is an independent polygraph. Well, why, why is the FBI not independent? Because they've been holding the hands of the Boulder Police for the last two and a half years. But you think the FBI wants you to be guilty? I think they think have they a care? vested interest. I don't know the for FBI sure. The FBI is part of some that. great conspiracy. Could I answer John? the question yeah. that's yeah. answered why, to yeah, me? The FBI I, I don't know. I have friends in the FBI. They're good people. All I know is they're not independent. The Boulder Police stated to us it would take them a week to get the polygrapher from the FBI ready to ask us questions. That shouldn't be necessary unless there's other motives in mind. The question is very simple. Did you kill your daughter? Did you write the ransom note? Do you know who killed your daughter? If we answer this truthfully, that that's all you need to I know the Boulder Police said they, they, the polygrapher needed to know more. Well, what do you no, need to know more than in those? In a polygraph, there's no legal consequence to a polygraph at this point. And, right. and the chief of police, yeah, the chief of police has even said uh, he's not accepting the uh, uh, results of this polygraph. And it doesn't make or break the case one way or the other. But you've now passed a polygraph. Will you not submit to an FBI polygraph? The polygraph issue is over. The people that Why gave us a over, polygraph. John? Why is it over? Is the FBI, the FBI part of this great... Could, Steve, could you, could you well, well, ask me a question? I'd like to answer it. Well, you don't allow me an opportunity Why would the FBI care? I don't know. 
but all I asked for was independent. Look, we were never asked to take a polygraph test. When we were asked it's on national the, Colorado doesn't allow it in court, uh, right? Steve, let's, let's address that right now. Cover your book. Your book. Your disgraceful book. Why? His inside story answers a wide range of important questions. Why were the Ramseys handled with kid gloves and never asked by law enforcement to take lie detection tests? Because test? the DA carried you in their pockets. But then during, don't tell me it was their, wrong. Their, it's in your book that you we were put, never you asked. You had a press conference last week. I'm but saying but let we me were answer. never asked. Larry, it's only fair that I get What happened at the press conference? At the press conference, they released a press uh, packet in which they gave the verbatim transcript. And I think even Alex Hunter has said that anybody reading that transcript a monkey could understand what was asked. Let's call that ancient history. I'm asking you today, not three years ago. Larry, if I'm, I'm writing this, reading this wrong, correct me. And again, but, Larry, uh, he's not letting me answer uh, the question, but, yeah, but three, yeah, but three years ago, uh, we're talking about, we're right here at the table tonight. Will you take an FBI-sponsored polygraph? And the answer is? Why will they not review the polygraphs that were taken? Why has he made a statement that says they are unacceptable when he has not even taken the time to look well, at them. when you're at the police department next week, ask him these questions. That would be great. If you can broker that deal, mm -hmm. boy, that would be a great thing. We'll be back with more on, uh, we, uh, we'll be right back. Don't go away. Just to go over this, your theory is this was based on Bedwetting, anger, and then it turned into cover-up, right? I do. And that's the reason, and then the writing of the note was after the fact. That's what I believe. After the baby is killed. That's what I believe. Patsy writes the note, and John complies with her. No, I, I, think, uh, I don't think John was involved. But John covers. Uh, I think John's had some questions uh, in the weeks and months that have uh, followed. Uh, can't speak for me, Stephen. Well, I, I said I think. Believe it or not, John, I'm entitled to an opinion. But all this started with bedwetting. I think so. Yeah, and this this is not out of the realm of concept. It happens every week in this other country. Cases? You have, Steve, you, you don't have children. Do you have a pet? Yeah, John, and let me tell you, I'm glad you I, I'm glad you, you brought have it a up. Pet? I do, mm -hmm. and if I can if respond. If that pet ever and pets do this, wet on the floor, would you kill it? I know how much I love my pet, my dad, would my you, wife. Would you kill it, Steve? And if somebody killed my dog. I would be at the sheriff's department, the police department, you, every day dog, until I found out who came in my house, wrote a phony floor, ransom note, kill and it killed my that's dog. that's what you're accusing us of. I just answered your question. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Would you kill your dog? Let me ask you this. It's interesting. You brought out my book. In your book, you talk about sponsoring FBI or legislation bringing the FBI into any uh, child bringing and if I federal Larry, let me agency. finish the yeah, question. Okay, federal agency. Br br well, who do you want? The Border Patrol? I would I, like an agency I, I think, that knows I, more about child crimes than you did. I think, John, and if you'll let me finish the question, you have said you want federal law enforcement brought into crimes where a child has been killed. Right. But in this case, you don't want them brought in because they're part of this great vast I know, conspiracy. I would have been, I, you know, the biggest why, mistake why I made. Now? In, excuse me, Steve. Why not now, The John? biggest mistake I made when this happened was that I didn't call the FBI directly. I called the voter police. They were there that, that day. That was a horrible mistake. The FBI they were, were not the leading 26. the investigation. Linda Arndt was leading the investigation. You should have called the FBI I right have called the, the FBI. FBI was there and should advising from day one, John. I never saw them. They what, were never whether, whether in they my They were presence. at your house. I wanted them. The, if they had been called to lead the investigation, that would have been a much better Mr. solution. Mr. Ramsey, they were at your house. They were not in no. our house. Yes, That's yes they were, Pastor. You weren't there. You were not there. That's if you didn't do this. You're out of your mind. You must go, be going out of your mind no matter what. You, I'm not I, going out of my no, mind I mean, no matter what. Well, I mean by out of your mind, if you did it, this was terrible. You didn't do it, you're being accused of doing it. And your daughter is dead. That would drive me nuts. So I don't know how you get through a day. I have a faith that comes from only one source. God knows who killed JonBenet Ramsey. Steve Thomas does not know, Patsy Ramsey does not know, and John Ramsey does not know. God knows, and the truth is going to prevail. <laughs> this is not... You have complete faith in that. Absolutely. We, with the help of the police authorities, 
this case can be well, solved. Well, we made a leap forward here if they all sit down. You've well, got to agree to that. But the Bible also says without confession, there is no forgiveness. Uh, Patsy, do you no, think... it doesn't it, say that. Uh, it doesn't? Uh, Christ uh, did not without, ask for without confession, he forgave There is no forgiveness. Do you think that God will forgive the person who did this? That's up to That's that up person to God. and God. Do you support the death penalty for the person who is ultimately convicted in this crime? I do not support the death penalty because of the horrible flaws I've seen in our justice system. There are many, many innocent people on death row today Patsy. because of people like Steve Thomas. Patsy? I concur. Do you, do you support the death penalty in this case, whoever killed your daughter? I... No, because they would say, what if it's the wrong guy that's convicted? We and need, they find out we 10 need years a later. DNA database, you know, as one of the things that we're purporting because if we have unexplained DNA. If we knew whose Does DNA that, that was, DNA then we would know who killed John Bonet Nobody Ramsey. at this nobody at this table is a DNA expert, and the DNA experts in this case, at the time I left, had told us this is not a DNA case because of issues degradation, there is contamination. DNA that was found under her fingernails and on her underwear. It could have been there from five days ago. Right? Oh please! No. Yeah, no, no, there are other no, sources no, other than no. the killer for, Why would for it be this under DNA her report and her underwear. If there are other sources, then tell me who it is. But if until we know who it is, it, I'm it, hopeful it, that it, that DNA belongs to the killer. We'll be back with our remaining moments with Steve Thomas and the Ramses on this edition of Larry King Live. Tomorrow night, we begin our celebration of 20 years of CNN, 15 years of Larry King Live with two two-hour specials, tomorrow night and Friday night. And on Saturday night, the new King of Jordan. We'll be right back. Some closing questions for each. You ever have doubts about your theory? Certainly, uh, qu questions uh, come and go. But again, uh, uh, myself and others that were associated with this case uh, try to step back and look at the big picture in uh, this circumstantial case. We everybody wishes it was a smoke. Everybody at this table wishes it was a smoking gun, no doubt, beyond a reasonable doubt case. It's not. It's a circumstantial case. Yeah. Well, all cases where there's no witness. Well, not necessarily if there's ballistics or DNA yeah. evidence or a bloody fingerprint. But you are content that if they meet with everybody and meets with Boulder Police, as was came up here tonight, that's going to be a step forward. It's a start. I'm, I'm certainly not saying anybody's going to be exonerated. Do you think it's possible, Patsy, that you know the killer? I mean, not know who it is, but that you may, this may be someone who knows you. I don't know. That's been speculated for three you years. You speculate. What do you think? You know, I mean, you we, must think about it all the time. I think about it all the time, every day, every waking moment. Who could have done this to my daughter? John, do you think? Uh, you said it might I be someone mad at you. I'm ruling out any possibility. It's a horrible thought to think that someone would, would be angry with me enough to kill my daughter. But I'm not ruling out anything. I think this is ever going to go away. It will never go away. For us. For us, it will never go away. But I am confident, with God's help, we will find out who did this. Steve, if they didn't, you have to admit this is a terrible tragedy. Well, we'll Beyond not. We'll, the tragedy of at, the death. at this point, absent a confession, the killer has to confess in this case because uh, it's arguable that Patsy could never be convicted because reasonable yeah. doubt. And, and John, let me finish my thought. Patsy cannot be convicted because of some reasonable doubt, but an intruder cannot be convicted either because of the same reasonable doubt. This case requires a confession. No, it doesn't. Requires DNA we have the killer's calling card. We have three pages of handwriting that this killer left for us. That's we do. a gift. We have DNA that might be a gift. We don't know yet. And that you handwriting, get a match. when we find the right suspect and get enough samples, three pages of handwriting will allow us to make a conclusive match. That has been stated by experts in the handwriting field. That's this the is key a to this huge whole thing, right? key huge and a huge key. gift. It's a strange letter, isn't it? Absolutely. It is an absolutely bizarre letter that uh, the writer knew so much about this family using Patsy's tablet, a pen from within the home, but and he other... But did not use Jean Benet's name. He or she, she certainly did not. I don't know what your point is with that. They may not have known the name of the child. Right. Well, certainly they knew that the dog wasn't home, that the alarm wasn't on, that John had a, this remarkably coincidental bonus of $118,000, good Southern common sense. This, the chances of this being some random intruder, one question, well, we doc random. Random. one question document, examiner said, are infinite tests. Are you suing Steve? Yes, you can count on that, Steve. You expect you spend this? a lot of quality time with what you've called Team Ramsey. We'll see you, John. 
Thank you all for agreeing to do this. Thank you, Ramses. Thank you, Steve. Again, the books are John and Patsy Ramsey's book is The Death of Innocence. Steve Thomas's book is Inside the Ramsey Murder Investigation. It's John Benet, Inside the Ramsey Murder Investigation. This crime took place Christmas night, 1996, in Boulder, Colorado. We invite you to stay tuned now for CNN Newsstand. We'll see you tomorrow night from Atlanta with a two-hour special kicking off two two-hour specials Thursday and Friday night. A look back at 20 years of CNN. Thanks for joining us, and happy anniversary to all of us. Good night.